G'day everybody and welcome back to Dinkum episode 189, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I've got to be honest with you guys, uh, it's been a few days since I've played Dinkum and I'm sort of playing catch up with recording the Dinkum episodes. And that is primarily due to uh, the Hogwarts Legacy game coming out recently and <laughs> I've been playing a little bit of that and... Uh, you know, uh, checking out what that game has to offer. But uh, anyway, we're out here in the West, uh, where the Western Connection Project is, and it is coming along very nicely, I believe, in the previous episode. Considering what we're wearing, I think we did like a whole bunch of cooking, and also um, we sort of did a little bit more of the Western Connection Project, and uh, we're actually getting there. We all already um, sort of prepared for placing down the bridge last night so we may as well actually just place that down right now uh, okay we have a bit of a problem here perhaps uh, I'm just gonna take a look if I can place the um, oh ow sorry whoops um, I guess I'm poisoned, <laughs> so I may be losing HP a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, I'm sure it won't kill us. Uh, yeah, okay, so I... Uh, I guess overestimated how long the bridge can go. So it looks like it's pretty limited. So we're going to have to extend something here. Perhaps maybe we're, we're going to have to extend this island a little bit more. Uh, see if we can make the distance. Um, let's just take a look at the map and see how this is looking. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty nice. Um, I keep forgetting to use our um, our hang glider for whatever reason. I'm just going to quickly check on this area here. So, what is this sort of grey-ish area? Okay, so I guess that's just showing us a little bit of elevation. Okay, so I think we're going to have to just make this island a little bit bigger. But we can't do that immediately this morning because our soil printer charge is pretty much out. So we're going to have to make it back and quickly recharge that. We'll drop that off first thing. Now, uh, the other thing, guys, is I didn't really make any notes for this episode, so I can't remember exactly uh, what we need to do. Obviously, there's going to be farming and whatnot, but uh, I figure, you know, we'll we'll be able to sort of check out what's going on in town and sort of maybe make a decision on what we want to do from there. Um, I don't have goals to do exactly. I have a faint recollection that we may have had a task that we wanted to try and complete in the morning, but it's not there. I'm guessing maybe it was a task that we were bound to fail or something, but anyway. Enough of that. Let's just uh, focus on getting back to the workshop here. I am picking up a bunch of shells and whatnot because I recall that we're sort of running out of ingredients for making fertilizer. So we may as well just collect all of this since we're on the way back to the farm anyway. Um, let's see. Might as well collect whatever junk that we can find around here. Alright, good stuff. Haven't exactly used the umbrella and the uh, festive towel recently, have we? It is in the middle of winter, so, you know, um, not exactly the most pleasant time to be going to the beach. Depending on where you are in Australia, actually. I mean, some places in Australia is like it's fantastic all year round, but uh, others, you probably don't really want to be visiting the beach in the middle of winter. I mean, you can. It's probably still swimmable compared to uh, a lot of other countries. But... Uh, 
probably not as enjoyable. Alright, uh, so while we're here, before we forget, let's drop the dirt printer in there. So yeah, it'll be interesting when we do get back to the Western Connection project to sort of decide um, what we're going to do um, with uh, with continuing that project. I mean, we have some specific things that we need to get done, uh, namely, you know, making the um, the island a little bit bigger in the well, the the center island a little bit bigger. Um, Anyway, uh, something on the board here. So, Alpha Jackaroo, sure, we'll get that done. And smelting, five tin ores. So we've got two days and three days to do that. All right, we'll, we'll consider maybe doing the Alpha Croc today, potentially. Um, I am here to drop this off and we should actually drop our junk off as well. Uh, anything else? I don't think so. Got one desert rose. I don't really want to relinquish that. Because, uh, it's a little bit, you know, a little bit more effort to try and actually get those things. Um, I think we're happy. Maybe we can drop off the stone. Okay. Where is the bike today? Ah, okay, so we've left the bike over at the west. <laughs> Sorry guys, I am, um, yeah, I'm completely unorganized this morning. Pretty much because, you know, I haven't been playing for a few days. So I've sort of forgotten what we did and what's what. That's okay, we'll get there. Uh, this fossil, I'm probably just going to sell to John. We'll do that in a moment. Let's grab our stuff from the Animal Research Center. stuff all right and okay no fertilizer so let's see if we can boost the fertilizer production here uh, let's just drop all of this off and what can we use maybe the sand dollars and the I don't know how to pronounce that still bacinidae shells you guys know how to pronounce it <laughs> drop some comments down below Buxinidae, I think, or something like that. Um, okay, so it doesn't look like we've got enough Buxinidae shells. Let's see if we can use anything else to make fertilizer with. Uh, perhaps maybe the Cassidae? Oh, definitely the Tonidae shells. Let's uh, drop one of these things in. We should actually get changed as well because I'm pretty pretty sweaty from all of that cooking the other day. So we we'll probably want to get out of this chef's outfit when we can. So let's just drop the animal traps first here. Okay, I thought he was gonna walk right into our steel trap there for a second and I was just prepared to just drop it off immediately because I think they can still bust out of the the steel traps um, if we don't damage them a little bit good old Ed doing what Ed does got three big chicken eggs here perhaps maybe we forgot to pick one up yesterday let's grab some of our tools and uh, let's do the farming nothing to uh, harvest on this patch. Let's feed Spike while we have the chance. Looks like a poo over here. Very nice. I haven't seen a Vombat poo yet though. Hopefully um, hopefully Julia drops a, uh, a Vombat poo for us a little bit later. Alright, good stuff. Um, no corn for harvest. Nothing over here. Oh, actually, we've got one carrot. I'll take. Um, 
I would probably fertilize that patch as well. Anything over here? Plenty of carrots here. Good. Okay, so I can pretty much just bring the carrot seeds and uh, replant all of the carrots. Good stuff. All right. We could potentially focus on a little bit of crafting today as well, like crafting a few more signs, for for example. Um, we haven't done that, and I think I've been talking about crafting some more signs for a while. Um, let's put that away, and we need our seeds. Kale, carrot, here we go. And we're running pretty low on the carrot seeds, actually, so I think... Rain's greenhouse opens today, perhaps. Sorry guys, I'm just going back because I forgot to grab some fertilizer. Quickly grab just one. All right, here we go. Fertilizer in, more carrots. and all the carrots in this section. Brilliant. Okay, so from here, I think I'm just gonna drop a few things off before we head back into town. So that can go there. Can drop the poos away and uh, this coffee table I definitely want to keep this coffee table for the spare house but maybe let's just leave it there for a second and uh, yeah let's get changed while we can here purple pants sure uh, orange sand shoes white boots yeah okay um, sweater mm, okay uh, Baseball cap? Yeah, perhaps. Okay, let's put all of this on. There we go. Yeah, uh, <laughs> interesting look. Might actually take the fake moustache off. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna quickly chuck our chef related stuff over here. Just so we know where to find it next time. Fake moustache goes here as well. Okay, cool. Um, got a few shells in hand as well still. Let's put that away. Alright, happy with that. I'm um, gonna bring the fossil and drop it to John. Actually, it is Saturday, so not gonna be able to do that, unfortunately, but uh, we'll drop it off in front of his house or his shop. That way we remember for next time. Now hopefully the soil printer is already done charging or close to it anyway. Alright, we'll leave that there and... Uh, okay, I should have put the red sneakers away. It's alright. We might pass by again. Uh, still charging. It's okay. Let's continue to grind some more wheat. And let's get the milk and the wool on. Actually, we should be thinking about perhaps uh, keeping some of our fresh milk for uh, for crafting purposes. Actually, do we have carrots in here? Yes, we do. There we go. We've got 500 carrots. <laughs> perhaps maybe we should just start selling some fresh produce to Jimmy as well. That might not be a bad idea because uh, I don't see us using all of this stuff like all the time. We'll see. I mean, the next thing is really just waiting for Jimmy to to open as well. Alright, while we're here, I do want to craft a couple of things, so uh, I think I'm gonna go with the steps. So we need stones and cement. Should be pretty easy. We'll um, start grinding up some more cement while we're doing this. Good stuff. 
And then now I also want some signs. There we go. So we need hardwood, gumwood, and mangrove sticks and nails. Should be pretty easy. There we go. Nails. Uh, okay, sorry, not palm wood. We need gum wood. There we go. Alright. How many signs do we need? I can't remember. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna make maybe three for now and hope that'll do the trick. Let's grab all of this stuff as well. And I'm just gonna put a few things away here. Righto. Okay. So, let's put the signs down. We'll also get the opportunity to put the red sneakers away. And uh, then, we should be able to head back out and uh, do a couple of things. One, take out the alpha croc. And then, um, and then we're gonna go out and continue with the project. Actually, before rain closes, we should buy some seeds. <laughs> So, we'll get that many, and uh, yeah, we should buy some kale as well, I think, because I think we've been planting a ton of kale recently. Okay, that should be enough for now. I don't know about the wheat and the sugarcane, but I think maybe we can leave that for now. Um, Alright, so let's head back to the house, place these signs down. So I think we can put maybe some signs over here. Got. There we go. Got the wheat sign already down there, that's fine. One sign for kale, that's good, and... There we go. So that'll be for some more carrots. We'll put in the actual symbols in when we actually harvest this stuff. Uh, so that's okay. And I think we needed one more for this side, right? Um, yeah, there I suppose. Okay. Uh, any Vombat Poos? Yes. Nice. Okay. So, let's put the Red Sneakers away and the Poos away. Uh, we go seeds also and the sneakers there we go probably just chuck this grass seed somewhere in the ground right oh uh, four o'clock is it time to go I think so um, I think maybe the order of things is we do the um, we do the project first, and then that way we can grab the bike and then head to wherever we need to to find that alpha croc. And if we've got enough time, and that is the reason why I uh, went back there and grabbed the uh, the coffee table, is perhaps maybe we can sleep at the spare house today. Uh, that might not be such a bad idea. But uh, anyway, let's head back to the west, see what we can do with, you know, making the island a little bit bigger. And hopefully we have the ability to actually place down the bridge this time around. And uh, yeah, once we do that, we should pretty much be able to traverse all the way there with the bike if we wanted to. I mean... You're probably thinking, I mean, we could easily teleport there, so we don't really need to, but, uh, I don't know, I just like travelling with the bike, guys, uh, just, you know, accept it. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm doing. That's me. 
Um, all right, so let's do this. Um, we're probably going to try and make the shape look a little bit nice. Uh, we do need to get rid of some rocks down there, don't we? We'll do that. Okay, good stuff. We are starting to run out of stamina already as well, so just gonna have a quick damper here. Maybe, uh, I don't know about having a couple, maybe that's a little bit wasteful perhaps, but uh, at least one is okay. Uh, just gonna... Do I want to move this? Maybe not. Maybe I'll just actually move this when we're ready to actually connect the bridge. I think that'll be a better way to do it. And if I'm not mistaken, we just need to move things one more tile closer to the actual Western Island. And once we do that, I think we should be right. Um, let's just check because I don't want to sort of do it and then find that we need to do more. We are aligned, aren't we? I'm pretty sure we are. Okay, so I think maybe we actually need to make it a little bit closer. Is this another rock? God damn it. <laughs> Alright, um, well that's our last bomb. Gonna have to use it there. And, uh, we're not gonna be able to craft bombs tomorrow either, so that's the, I guess, bit of a problem. Let's just check that we can reach here. No, nope. still a little bit more, I think. Okay, I think that's it from a um, printing perspective. I think we're gonna have to do a little bit of hard labor here. Um, I'm just going to quickly check that we can actually reach the other side. Um, I feel like we can, it's just maybe I was standing in the way. Are, are we reaching or not? <laughs> what is the deal here? It looks like it's reaching, but actually, can I change the camera a second? Hmm, okay. Perhaps maybe it needs to be a little bit closer even. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually maybe move some of the soil just to this side. And we'll see if we can actually place down the bridge from here. Whoops, wrong way. Uh, okay, I have a feeling that we haven't reached. Maybe it'll be easier for me to take a look at what's going on if we try on this side.
Yeah, okay. We're definitely not close enough, but... I think... We can actually move one tile in... ...from this side instead. I think that might get us there. Okay, let's go. What? Are you kidding me? Hmm. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I think uh, the problem, guys, is... We we'll literally need just one more tile to sort of reach um, the other side. So I am going to use the infinite soil trick because uh, <laughs> I have no patience and I want this done. So we're doing it. It is 8 o'clock, so we've got, what, another four in-game hours to deal with that Alpha Croc, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, let's drop that there and there. Okay. Yes. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> we are definitely coming along. Uh, we're gonna have to plug this uh, this hole, but we'll do that tomorrow. Let's just drop some of our stone steps in place here. Very good. Nice, okay. And we made exactly the amount of stone steps that we needed. <laughs> that was totally intentional, guys. Um, Alright, so... I think we're probably going to beautify this area a little bit in terms of, like, making the shape of the island look a little bit nicer, because at the moment it looks a little bit weird. But we'll worry about that once we actually have the soil printer in hand. Um, just going to have this damper and I think the next order of things is looking for that alpha croc sorry it's an alpha jackaroo my bad okay so let us jump on the bike and we'll head towards that jackaroo it is a little bit precarious around here isn't it like we could easily drop into the ocean <laughs> so um we're going to spend quite a bit of time in the next many, many episodes um, thickening up the the arm that reaches the western island. And uh, we'll also place down some pathways and all that sort of good stuff. Um, but that's just, you know, me speaking out loud about what the, what the plan's going to be. Okay, Ted's about. Ah, there he is. I'll uh, quickly fly over to Ted and see if he has anything easy for us to do this evening. Ah, Blue. Always nice bumping into you. What can I do for you? Uh, let's chat. And see if you have a job for us. Oh wow, I notice you've got two Rupu on you. I'd like to buy two Rupu you're carrying. How does six... Six tink sound. That's that's the smallest uh, amount that I've ever seen in a transaction in this game. But sure, we're here for the relationship. So I would have liked to keep those rupus, uh, you know, to make some more fertilizer. But oh well. Since we're here and we can, why not? Let's just grab all of that stuff and yeah we get bones and all that sort of stuff in return as well so that'll be also useful for a little bit of fertilizer at some point so getting close to 10 o'clock should focus up and try and deal with this alpha animal um, I am gonna eat a meat pie here as well guys and that's mainly to give us a little bit of a buff on um, on our 
uh, I guess, combat damage and all that sort of stuff, so we can take it out pretty quickly. Um, I will actually pick up some bananas because if we ever make fruit salads, I sort of want to have those handy. Okay, let's do it. Ow. There we go. No problems. Nice. No alpha antler in that one, so uh, a bit disappointing. Uh, I am gonna just pick up a whole bunch more shells here since we can. And we've got still a little bit of time in the day. Um, inventory's looking okay. I'm not entirely sure if I should uh, spend time like digging up more stuff in the ground. Um, maybe not. Because then we might have a bit of an inventory problem. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. <laughs> Why? Because, well, at the end of the day, you know, we'll actually, um, we'll actually be at the farm and we'll start storing stuff anyway when we're at the farm, so it's okay. We can spend time collecting all this stuff. bit random, but uh, I suddenly remembered that we've got a crab pot sitting somewhere which we have to check on. Still haven't had any success with those crab pots just yet, but uh, one of these days we're probably going to catch something. Um, I'm just not entirely sure if I'm doing it right or if I'm even leaving the crab pot in the right spot. Just going to see if we can grab a few more bananas since we're here. Good. Alright, nice. Um, yep, let's head back to the bike. And uh, I think we're very close to the spare house, right? So we'll just quickly head on there. And yeah, we're gonna finish everything up at the spare house. We'll place down the brand new coffee table that we managed to get from the recycling bin and uh, yeah we'll think about what we're gonna do in this area in terms of uh, you know beautification so we place down a few more uh, flowers and whatnot so that's good um, but we've got some more of these desert roses we could probably place down one there and okay we don't have any more um, pots or anything like that, but perhaps maybe we can put a couple of our brick flower beds in this space. Make it look sort of symmetrical. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll put a couple of our desert roses in this one, or should I put the desert peas in there? Maybe the desert peas, just to make things look a little bit, you know, more organized tiny bit organized. <laughs> I don't want it to look like extremely symmetrical, um, otherwise it might not look that nice, but uh, anyway, let's focus on putting the coffee table away. Not away, but down. Should I put it in the center or should I put it like in the corner like this? I don't know, I kind of like the look of putting it in the corner. I was going to put it in the center before, but I think the corner actually looks really nice. So, um, alright. And while we're here, I'm just gonna put the desert roses away here, because once we do craft, let's say, maybe a few more pots and stuff, we'll put those in, uh, those pots. And yeah, I'm not entirely sure what other stuff we should, uh, get going in this area. I mean, we could farm here if we wanted to like a small, like, hobby farm, if you will. 
but uh, then we'd have to sort of come back and look after the farm like really often so I'm not entirely sure if I really want to do something like that but uh, anyway while we can and while we're here we should actually clear out the, uh, the quarries since this is the, the main purpose of this house aside from looking nice and it being a home away from home it does have a little bit of production going on so um, we've got all of that going as well all right uh, I can't really think of anything else that we need to do guys uh, before we wrap up the night um, obviously we could have like thrown this into the grinder but um, we don't really have a grinder out here not entirely sure if we'll get one but we'll think about it all right guys well hope you enjoyed this episode it was a little bit sort of unorganized at the beginning I apologize too much Hogwarts legacy for me but <laughs> I am playing catch-up so uh, on to the next episode all right leave a like dislike or a comment or two down below stay true and I'll see you guys in the next one bye